Hello, this is Royer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Against the Storm. As we continue our run here, I uh, just finished up uh, our last city. We did, unfortunately, fail the mission. Barely, though. Barely. We, we almost got it. Now, had I, had I realized that we were going to be able to build the extra um, rain wells, or whatever they're called, um, the, way, you know, the way we did, uh, I, I would have probably pushed a little bit harder, and I think we could have gotten that mission done. But it's not the end of the world. We technically successfully finished the um, city itself, the little village, uh, so it's all good. Uh, we do have another quest out here. Wandering Eremite, your caravan is suddenly stopped by an old beaver in rugged clothing, blocking the passage. It seems to not have a care in the world. It won't move out of the way to let your wagons pass. His calm demeanor stands in stark contrast to the fast approaching storm clouds behind you. Perhaps you can learn from him. Uh, we could lose five years and gain blessing for three games. Um... Blueprint rerolls cost 10 less amber. Five years is a lot, though. We've got to do, I think, at least three more cities. And we've got about 23 years left. So we've got to maybe eight years, eight years, and seven years, something like that. If we lost five years, that takes us down to 18. We'd have to finish each city in six years. Not impossible, but with this higher difficulty level, I'm definitely struggling with, with finishing the cities quicker. So I don't think we can lose the years. Uh, pay some food and gain a bunch of seal fragments. Uh, I mean, we're gonna have plenty of sill fragments by the time we get there, I would imagine. Honestly, we might just ignore this guy. I think we're gonna ignore him. And, um, we're just gonna continue on towards, uh, the lead seal over here. And, uh, see where that gets us. Uh, I don't know if it really matters which way we go. Oh, I just realized that these bands have different minimum, uh, difficulty levels. I did not even notice that before. I mean, I think we just make a little bit more of a direct route towards the, uh... Where's the lead seal here? We're just going to come up here. I think this is going to be fine. We're going to keep it on veteran. I mean, we've been successfully completing the missions. which just may be taking us a little bit longer. Uh, I do like to start with the beavers just because of the wood early on. I think we're going to start with that. I uh, will take the extra villagers. We will take... Well, I say that. I mean, the herbalist camp... Well, that takes six, though. No, I think we'll take the extra villagers. I think we'll take the... Uh, what do we got going on here? Uh, we do have clay available, so I think we're gonna bring a little bit of stone just for some variety. And it's, I mean, it's probably a good idea to bring some food and stuff. It could also be good to bring a little bit of extra wood at the beginning. I think we'll just bring a little extra meat. And... Actually, let's just bring some veggies or something like that, maybe. Or, you know what? These are both common foods. Not that, sorry. These are both common food sources. That'll help us get a little bit of food to start off with. I think that will work out just fine. Uh, as far as conditions, we don't know anything else other than the gift of the woodlands. Uh, very lush and rich in timber trees to get more wood. Okay, so that's a good reason not to bring more wood. It looks like we will get some eggs from the trees as well. So, I think this is going to be good. Let's embark as is. And uh, hopefully my uh, allergies don't get the best of me. Important mat uh, matters, I should say. Impatience grows slower during drizzle season. The queen seems to be preoccupied with more pressing matters. Okay, that's good. We got the looming darkness. We got the faint flame. Resources you fast sacrifice burn quicker. Leakage. Um, the cover of the star has been damaged due to an exceptionally strong storm. The harvest resistance has decreased by 300. Oof. Okay. Cold snap. Uh, prevent it by having complex food. Uh, villagers have a 50% chance of consuming double the amount of food during a break if they don't have this available. Okay. And then finally, devastating storms at 6. Which is just, well, devastating. Other than that, everything else I think is just about kind of what we thought. And... Uh, Let's uh, let's flip the thing around just so we can kind of get a view the way we want to. And we got some clay right off the bat. We got some eggs right off the bat. So say, do we have lizards? We do have lizards available to us. Well, a lizard. Uh, which we're probably going to just go ahead and stick in here right away. And we'll eventually work that over here probably. All right, let's go ahead and build up our roads as we like to. Just to get everything surrounded properly. Uh, we'll bring it down here, bring it down here, and we'll cut across the front. All right, that works. And then as far as housing, we will grab, we have what, 9, 10, 11 people? We really like to do two big shelters, but we need the, I think we can do it though. I think we're going to stick with the two big shelters. Uh, actually, I'm going to move that up. And we'll do something like that. And let's go ahead and get a couple lumber camps down. Like that, and be one down here. Oh, there's a lot of good wood down here, but no clean um, 
glades down here. It'll be fine though. And we'll go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and have both of these only do mark trees and we'll just mark and over here. We're just gonna mark a bunch of stuff. That's fine. We're not gonna cut into any glades anyway. We'll just mark as much, pretty much as much as we can over here. Up here, however, I mean, there's no reason not to go ahead and cut into these glades, I don't think, unless we can get a mission to do it. Actually, that might be the good reason to not do this right away. Let me go ahead and clear that back out. We'll, we'll get very close and then we will cut into them once. Uh, sorry, not that. I want. Uh, What is it? Uh, no, that's right. I thought I had the right button. I just was pushing. I was pushing shift instead. All right, we'll do something like that. Get those built up, uh, and then we also want to go ahead and get us a uh, crude workstation right away to be able to get us uh, some planks made. And we got enough food to get us going for right now, so I'm not going to worry about the food just yet, which is a little bit un un normal, not normal for me, I should say. But I think we're going to be okay. Get everything built up. We'll get at least one of these built up. We'll get the other one as soon as we can get some planks rolling in, which should hopefully happen pretty quickly here. We do have some buildings we can pick up. I'm not feeling like we need to grab anything just just yet. Kind of want to play it a little bit safe here, see what we can what we can actually need, and we'll kind of go from there. All right, let's go ahead and put some beavers in here. And fill that up with all three. Get some beavers in here. Good stuff. And we'll go ahead and we'll turn off the pipes for now. We'll go ahead and put a couple people in here. And have them work on that. Let's prioritize the planks though. That way we can get the other house built up. And everything will be good. Alright, we got our first cornerstone. Gain two packs of provisions for every ten herbs produced. Get some just some roots per minute. Uh, and we can reduce hostility for every abandoned cache we pick up. All three of these are actually pretty decent to grab. Uh, do we have herbs on this map? We do not, so we're not going to do the herb one. Roots. Do we have roots on this map? We do have roots. So we're probably already going to get some roots. I think we're going to take the silent looting, and I think that's going to be fine. Uh, okay, so that's working. Uh, we still have two people basically available. So let's go ahead and get us um, the trapper's camp for over here to start getting us some food. Come back in. All right, first order's coming in. Uh, have at least one building with rain engine installed in your settlement. Okay. Acquire blight root cysts. Have at least two blight root cysts at the same time. Hmm. I mean, I think we'll take the rain engine thing. Seems like the easiest one to resolve. Uh, deliver 25 eggs. Okay, we're definitely going to be picking up some eggs. So we're going to grab that without even looking at anything else. And then keep Lizards Revolve above 13 for 30 seconds, which we could actually do right now. Um, even with just the one lizard. Oh, we can actually already deliver this. Well, that's easy. We'll grab that and we'll go ahead and prioritize you. That'll keep it above 13 for 30 seconds, hopefully. We will need to get another house coming in now. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, we need one more house. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a start getting on some beaver houses, I guess. Beaver houses take... They do take planks, but... Um, we're going to hopefully be making some planks here pretty quickly here. All right, and let's go ahead and plug in. Oh, we'll go ahead and put some humans over here for now. Eventually, we'll get some lizards over there once we get more lizards. And we still have people available to work, so let's go ahead and grab a stonecutter's camp for the clay. I'm going to prioritize that first. Thanks for coming in, slowly but surely. Uh, we're just going to put one person in here, just a human, I guess, for now. Get a little bit of trickle of clay coming in. Got four things available over here. Oh, we got the clan here, the lizards, so it's going to give us more lizards. Which doesn't mean we need more buildings again already, but we'll get there. There's another beaver house over here. Alright, there's the house. Should leave us, what, three people not housed? Which we'll get soon enough. 
Mm, three people, yep. And once the beavers get housed, we'll be fine over there. Definitely pick up more stuff, but I'm kind of like, I don't know that we need it just, just yet. We just need to get through the orders. See what the next order we need is. Um, I don't think we have anything that... Do you take a rain engine? You do. All right, there's no reason not to just go ahead and connect you up. Even though we might not use you long term. Just go ahead and get in the credit for this. Uh, which does give us more people coming in, which we'll need. I'm going to go ahead and keep going with the beavers. Keeping them happy. Although I can see an argument for making the lizards happy because they're the easiest to get some, some stuff from. You know what? We don't have any cloth right now. We are going to get planks. Let's keep making the beavers happy for now. Well, I say that as soon as we can get more uh, wood stuff coming in. Six buildings available to pick up. Uh, for decorations, let's go ahead and grab our typical benches across the front here. This takes wood. That'll be pretty easy to get set up. Uh, we can go ahead and put another person in here. And we can actually go ahead and replace you guys with... Uh, well, let's go ahead and replace you with a lizard. Once you get finished, we'll replace you with lizard as well. All right. Lizard. All right. It looks good. Let's get that rolling. Um, still leaves us with four people available to work stuff. So, what is the next on our list? I mean, if we can grab something here. Again, I don't know what I want until I kind of clear in some stuff. I'd like to get the next orders before I grab anything. That's five minutes, 38 seconds away. Okay, we're going to go ahead and cut into a, a glade. We need to know what we have available over here. We will be getting bricks, which allows us to grab what? Littered house takes bricks. Uh, human house takes bricks and planks, which we can actually do that. Probably a good idea to get a couple of these kind of plopped down. You know, I'm just going to stick them here for now. It's going to be fine. I mean, I know we got a lot of need for planks right this second, but we are making some. So we'll get there. But everybody's got a house. Not quite, though. We need two more houses built soon. They're coming. Slowly but surely, they're coming. I have a few upset people right this second, but I think we'll be all right once we get these houses built up. All right, new glade. Perfect. Uh, we do have a trapper's camp. Oh, okay. Well, we don't need a... It's actually a full-size trapper's camp, though. That's perfect. We actually do want to rebuild this. Um, yeah, we're going to rebuild this. So we'll go ahead and throw a couple of people in here. Let's get this rebuilt pretty quickly here. Because that will be good placement for this thing, which presumably we can get rid of. What else we got over here? We actually got... Some comfort decorations that we can move in. I've actually never seen decor. I, I don't know if I've seen that many decorations over here, like available. That actually helps out a bit. I think they get. We need eight, right? So that gets us there. I mean, the path is a little bit wonky. More eggs and then some room other things, which is cool. All right, we're gonna move you. We're gonna go ahead and finish up these eggs over here first. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and just move you lizards. Uh, let's see. Move you guys over here. Um, and then we're going to get rid of this thing, actually. Hopefully recover something from it. A little bit of wood, some parts. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Better better camp overall, which is which is good. All right. I guess we need to cut into this other glade as well. Because we didn't really get much from that one. I mean, we got good stuff. Don't get me wrong. The eggs and the... The meat are going to be really good, but not really giving me a direction to go yet. Rumor has it that whenever someone says the wealthiest in the realm, newcomers will arrive 50% quicker and bring 10% more goods for every one level of standing yet with other settlements. Okay, yeah. 
we have to set up trade rest, which I need to set that up actually. Global production speed is 35% faster, but traders will rest slower. I'm actually kind of okay with that. Gain 40 meat, 40 rate for each completed dangerous or, or forbidden glade event. That's pretty good as well. I'm actually kind of okay with getting just better production and less traders. Um, but speaking of traders, we should go ahead and pop the trading post down somewhere. And we do have some newcomers coming in. Um, I'd like to get a few more lizards, I think. I think I'm okay with that. Still need some more houses, but once the rest of these houses get built, we're going to be fine. All right, Stonecutter has nothing nearby. Wow, that was fast. They cleared that out real quick in a hurry. Uh, we don't really have anything else to do right this second, so we're going to deactivate you for the moment. Anything else we want to go ahead and build? I mean, we could grab the makeshift post, start getting some packs, but I don't really need them right this second. Start getting a rank collector just to have some. And maybe that's a good idea, but honestly, for right now, I think we're just chilling. Um, what else do we need here? We need one more comfort, and then we need the four aesthetics. So let's go ahead and grab that. I mean, we might as well grab another fence thing, just because we've already kind of started. So let's get us that, and then the aesthetic. I usually like to stick the garden down. It's just easy to plop down somewhere. Let's plop it back there. All right, there's our trader. He is available. Get some tools. I mean, tools are almost always a really good idea to grab pretty early on. I don't know that we need the copper ore right this second, so I feel like getting rid of that would be okay. The ranch, but we don't know if we can get the money for that right this second. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of don't really need the resin. We don't really need the copper. Everything else we kind of probably need. And we don't really need the flower right this second. Maybe eventually. But right now it doesn't really help us. Stuff like that. And get as many. I mean. How many tools can we get from that? Four. I mean four is something. That actually helps a little bit. Alright. I think I'm happy with that. We probably can cut back on one of these. Yeah, I'm actually happy with four tools that gets us up to 14. That's that's a pretty good number. Would like to have more, obviously, but 14 is going to get us a little bit there. I mean, that's two sixes, you know, if we find a six. If we find a 16, I think if there's a few 16s out there, it actually won't, won't really help us, but I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there. This guy's still working on planks. You are still working on planks. Trying to, at least. There goes another another house getting built. Another beaver house. Hey, more orders. That's exactly what we've been waiting for. All right. I mean, yeah. Except we don't really have a reliable way to get fabric. Uh, three rain engines installed. Um, do we have enough to... Like, rain engines is four, right? And we have how many pipes? Eight. So we would need four more pipes. Do we have the means to get four more pipes? We really don't. So I don't think we're. I mean, this one we could just we could get. I mean, this one is almost guaranteed. Eventually, we got to get a way to get some fabric, but we could definitely deliver that one eventually. Trade goods and some amber versus some lizard resolve above sixteen, which we could do. We cut through two more glades. Okay, I think we're gonna grab this side. I think that's still good for us. That'll mean we'll cut in through this glade. We might start cutting into a dangerous glade here in a second. Kind of running out of other options anyway. So feel like that makes the most sense. In fact, we're going to go ahead and move this path down a little bit more. And then we'll move this thing down a little bit more. And we'll probably just cut into this glade to the left. In fact, I'll just kind of cut back from over here and just kind of have them beeline a little bit more towards that direction. We got the tools to resolve something, so, well, not everything resolves with tools, but a lot of them do. So that helps us a little bit. I need to get something to better, better use my uh, meat and eggs, but we don't have the... I mean, we can grab something. I just don't know what we want yet. I mean, the foragers can't we're eventually going to need, right? Grain, roots, vegetables. Surely, yeah. Okay, yeah, let's grab that. I feel like that's a safe pick. 
Um, I mean, Lumber Mill or the Weaver are both really good. Uh, the Smokehouse gets us Jerky, and the Jerky does need... We should go look at the consumption real quick. Only the Lizards... I mean, everybody can eat Jerky, but only the Lizards get a benefit from Jerky. But... Jerky... Needs... Can use the meat and the wood. So... Or the insects, but, you know, we're gonna have some meat. So the jerky would be a decent way to get some complex food in here. Could grab the kill and still be able to get jerky. Better bricks and some coal. It's not a bad idea. It's not as good on the jerky side, but it's still, it's, you know, it's better than nothing. And it does give me those other things. Yeah, that might not be a bad idea. I mean, smokehouse came back. Tools, I mean, we definitely need something, some way to make tools. Uh, would we rather have the scribe? Not really, I think. I think the smithy's fine. I'd like better planks, that's for sure. Uh, how many we got left? Two? Skewers and biscuits are both good. Uh, again, skewers only legends really technically like them. But... Everybody else could eat them. It doesn't need vegetables, but that allows us to use. What well, actually allows us to use jerky? Interesting. I hadn't thought. I didn't realize that. And eggs. That's actually a second level. Uh, maybe that's a good way to go. We'll grab the herbalist camp. Uh, herbs, berries, and mushrooms. We do have berries available out there somewhere? And mushrooms. I hate. I hate when we run to the big ones and we can't do anything with them. And the jerky is probably going to be good enough for now. You know what? I'm going to grab the herbalist camp. And then... We might save this one. Flour could be useful, but we get, we don't have a way to make biscuits right now. I think we'll hold off on this last one until we know for sure what we need. Um, Alright. we got to get a way to get make fabric. That's something we're really struggling with. Alright, first up. Ah oh, man, again, fabric reached my way. Let's get the let's get this going because this is actually gonna help us with our plank thing quite a bit. We're gonna go ahead and prioritize you. Do we have let me go ahead and drop the plank priority? And we have a we can make a little bit of fabric and not much. Let's go ahead and have them make some things here. Another glade, good stuff. And it's actually the little deer thing in Jigger. Uh we've seen that before. We'd have to cut into that pretty quickly at this point. Oh, farms. Yes, of course. We're going to get some farm stuff. Uh, flex fields, though. That's something a little new. That will actually help us get some fabric, right? So that is useful. Um, I think for now, we're just going to do those two. And then we'll move it up later once we clear out a little bit more wood area. Getting those flex fields is good. But yeah, do we have any? I think we don't have anything. Yeah, we don't have anything. Let's go ahead and re-roll here. I was going to say, the force is that is can use it. Not really what I was looking for, though. So I'm going to hold off for a second. I might have to reroll that later. All right. So flax fields allow us to start getting a little bit of uh, more stuff for fabric, which is good. As long as we're making everything available from the fabric side, we are. I mean, this thing only needs two and two, so I'm actually going to go ahead and turn off the uh, planks here. We'll let them make those two. That'll hopefully get that built. Then we can make that have better, ha have that make better planks. Goodness, I can't talk. Words are hard. So far, we're doing all right, though. And we do need to get the building materials. We will get that eventually. I mean, this is a good way to get some uh, crystallized dew, and crystallized dew is a good way to get us tools, right? Um, we just need wood, and you know what? That's yeah, I think that's a it's worth it. We'll grab the uh, forester set. Normally, I'd like a food thing, but I think that is 
kind of worth it. Um, I like to stick it in this little pocket. Let's let them clear out some more wood. I'm going to cut off this though over here. Stay focused on this side over here. All right, that's that. Planks production is available. Don't care about the scrolls right now or the trade goods. So we're going to go ahead and just fill you up and have you focus on some planks, make a much, much cheaper planks, which is great. Still need one more house at least. So hopefully this human house gets built here soon. Um, we do have a better way to make bricks. So let's go ahead and get the kiln down. And we're actually going to prioritize this. I know it's going to delay these, but I need to get a better way to make bricks. And of course, more complex food. So cutting into the dangerous glade, which I'm okay with. Let's go ahead and turn off brick production. Uh, I guess lizards. We'll put just the two lizards in here. I think that's fine. And honestly, you can make everything that you are able to make. That wood's good here. Stone or clay is good here. All that's good. Yes. Make everything you can. I guess we'll... Well, it doesn't really matter. Just make whatever you can for now. We're just making cloth over here. Fabric over here. It's fine. Finally got that. So we're up to the full thing here. We can't go one more level though. Once we get up to 20. And we need a service building though. Everybody housed yet? Not really. So that's actually going to be a little problematic, but we'll get these last couple buildings done here soonish. We really need another way to make more something we can make bricks out of. Which presumably would be clay on this map. If this tree gets cleared out, we should be able to put the uh, forester's hut down. Go put the forcer set down. Uh, we'll put it right there. I think we'll be fine. Just build a little road up here, cut it across. That'll work. And I guess we can go ahead and sign the farm fields as well. Uh, which does mean we need to get the thing that lets us make tools now, uh, which is the smithy. Go ahead and just plop that down just to have it planned. All right. I didn't realize this would take beavers. Um, we don't need beavers in the crew workstation. Put all those there, and then the crew workstation we can just put in. Well, a human, I guess. This is just making fabric for right now. I guess that's fine. Little lizard resolve. We need to cut into another glade, which we're going to be doing soon. Uh, woodcutters no suitable trees. Uh, let's bring you... I'm going to put you here and have you start cutting in here. Just give us more space on the side of things. Plus cut into, cut into the other glade. A cornerstone. Stormwalker training. Your village villagers learn how to travel the wilderness from the very best. The Royal Stormwalkers. All trade routes are faster. Okay. Receive three packs of provision for every new villager. That one's actually really helpful. Um, once a detailed map of the region, it will supply anyone willing to help. Gain 20 reed and 20 clay for each discovered glade. Uh, I mean, I like the packs of provisions, but if we're not going to be doing trade routes, honestly, getting some free clay as we get some of these glades we're about to discover, it would be good. All right, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. When we come back, we'll finish up. Well, we'll keep working on this city. Where I think we're making pretty good progress. I feel pretty good about it. I mean, we're on day three. We've only gotten three of these, but we're about to... We're about to be able to get two more, potentially. And we're going to be working on the lizards are starting to be happy. So I think we're going to make some good progress. So I do appreciate you guys watching, though. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.